Hey guys and welcome to the Soft Stone Games tutorial. Today we will create a main menu and a pause menu for your Unreal Engine 4 project. Here you can see we have a start and a quit button. When we hit start we can run around in a third person example map. We can pause our game, continue playing and go back to the main menu where we can quit the game. So let's get started. I have created a new blank project. The first thing we'll add is a folder. Right click, all the way on the top hit new folder. Let's rename this to menu. Let's open this folder. Right click again and let's create a new level. I rename this to menu underscore level. Right click again, go to user interface and add a widget blueprint and name it main menu. Now I've added two images for you to download. The links are down below. Let's add them to our project. All we have to do is select them, drag them to the content browser. Let's open our level. On the top, go to blueprint and click on open level blueprint. Delete the event tick. And from the begin play note, drag to the right and search for create widget. As class, we'll select the widget we've just created. From the return value, drag and search for add to viewport. Now the widget will be built and added to the screen. Let's compile, save and close this window. Now we will open our widget. On the left side, search for image. Drag it onto the canvas panel. Click onto your image and let's rename it to background. Let's size it up to 1920 by 1080. Expand the brush and add the image we've just imported. Beautiful. Let's compile and save. Now we will add some text. Drag it onto the canvas panel. Select it. And let's rename it. Hit anchors and select the middle one. The alignment should be 0.5 and 0.5. Now let's reset the position. Hit size to content. Drag it up a little. Let's set the position to mm, minus 400. Let's type main menu as text. Expand the font tab and set size to 100. Now search for vertical box and drag it to the canvas panel. Select the vertical box, set the anchor to the middle again, alignment 0.5 and 0.5 and reset the position and set the y-axis to 130. Now size it up to 400 by 250. Now let's add a button. Drag this one onto the vertical box. Select the button and rename it to start button. Change the padding to 10, set size to fill, now the button will fill up the vertical box. Open the style tab, open normal and as image let's search for the image we've just imported which is called button. And change the draw as to image. Now right click on the normal tab and hit copy. Right click on hover, hit paste and do the same for press. Now let's compile and save. And now we're going to add some text to our button. Drag the text onto the start button, select it and change the text to start. On the left, select our start button and hit Ctrl W to duplicate. Now we have two buttons. 
let's change its name to quit button and change the text to quit now let's compile save and open the event graph we can delete the pre-construct and the event tick from the event construct drag to the right and search for set input mode UI only change the lock mode to lock always now create another node called set show mouse cursor make sure the context sensitive box is unchecked and set show mouse cursor should be checked now from the player controller drag to the left and search for get player controller and connect the return value to the set show mouse cursor as well on the left side select the start button and create a on clicked event drag to the right and search for set input mode game only and search for set show mouse cursor and make sure the show mouse cursor is unchecked now let's add another get player controller and connect it to the set show mouse cursor as well now let's create another node called open level by name here we are going to type third person example map we'll add this one later On the left, select the quit button and create a on clicked event. Drag to the right and search for quit game. Let's compile, save and close this window. Click on content. On the left, go to add slash import and on the top, add feature or content pack. Select the third person one and hit add to project. Now close this window. And now we've added the basic third person files from Unreal, including the third person example map. Now let's try out our menu. Hit play. We've got our start and our quit button. Let's click on the start and we've opened our third person example map. Now let's play again. Try to quit the quit button. It works perfectly. Now our main menu finished. Everything works. Let's build our pause menu. Open the menu folder, right click on the main menu widget and click duplicate. Now let's rename this one to pause widget and open our pause widget. We're going to make some small changes to this widget. First select the background image and hit delete. We don't need this one. On the left search for background blur and drag it between the canvas panel and the text. Now select the background blur and size it up to 1920 by 1080. And scroll down and set the blur strength to 5. Select the top text and change the text to pause menu. Select the start button and change its name to continue button. Select its text and change the text to continue. And we're going to do the same for the quit button. Select it and change it to main menu button. Select the text and change it to main menu. Let's compile, save and open the event graph. On the event construct, we're going to add a node called set game pause. And make sure the pause box is checked. 
On a continue button event, delete the open level by name node and add a node called remove from parent. Drag to the right and search for set game paused. And make sure the pause button, the pause box is unchecked. Delete the quit game node and search for open level by name. And as level name, we will fill in menu underscore level. Now compile, save and close this window. Go back to the content folder. Open a third person blueprint folder, go to maps and open the third person example map. On the top go to the blueprints and hit open level blueprint. Right click and search for tab. Which is under input, keyboard events, tab. From press, drag to the right and search for is valid. As input object we will select the pause menu widget. And from is valid, create a node called create widget. Select the pause menu widget. And drag to the right from the return value and add add to viewport. Compile, save, close this window. Go back to the content folder, open the menu folder and open the menu level. Now let's hit play to test. Let's hit start. We can run around, go to the pause menu by hitting tab. Now our game pauses, we can hit continue and run around again. Hit tab, go to the main menu and we can quit our game. Now that's all, thank you for watching. If you've liked this video then like, if you didn't like it then dislike. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions leave them down in the comments down below. And I will see you next time.